so I can zoom into the right level. If you square it off a bit. So when it like Yeah. Okay. I'm just push it up. Okay. Um, today I'm going to be looking at the gradient of a scalar field. In so if we're looking at um, the temperature in a three-dimensional room, we'll say the temperature T equals F of X, Y and Z which in this example equals 10e to the minus r squared. And so in this, our r equals the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So therefore, r, e r squared sorry, equals x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So if I sub this r squared back into our first equation, we get t of x, y, and z equals 10e to the minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared. So from this, we want to find the grad of this function. So to find the grad of it, we need to find the partial derivatives. So a grad of the function, <coughs> so grad t equals partial derivative x, which is the ith component, plus partial derivative y, which is the jth component, and then partial derivative z, which is k. So then if we look at our example we've got, we want to partially differentiate this by y by x first of all, which equals minus 2x times 10e to the minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then we times this by the i we've got here. And then we add on this equation again but this time we're going to partially differentiate it with respect to y. So that makes minus 2y times 10e to minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And we times this by the j there. And then lastly, we add on this partially differentiated with respect to z, which makes plus minus 2z times 10e to the minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And then we times it by the k we've got there. So times it by k. So then to simplify this, we can take out, we can multiply these two bits together to make minus 20xe to the minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared i. Then do the same for the j and the same for the k. So you end up with the same equation here, except where there's a y, there's a j, and where there's a z, there's a k. So then when you put all these together, you get minus 20e to the minus x squared plus y squared plus z squared times by your xi plus yj plus zk. And that is the gradient of a scalar field.